Welcome to Comic Sphere, the website where you can publish your cartoons and graphic novels for free and a free mobile app on Android and iPhone that you can use to download your favorite comics. This video will show you how to upload and publish your graphic novels and comic strips. You must be registered with us as a cartoonist or publisher. If you have not registered, then register now and it takes one day to validate your account. You must first log in with your username and password as you can see here. Once you have logged in, click on your account at the top to reveal this drop-down list. Click on Create Comics. This brings you to a blank header page where you can enter the data for your comic strip that you want to publish now. It allows you to enter general information about your comic strip such as the author, a title for your comic strip, a short description of about 200 characters this could be some kind of a teaser line to generate interest in your comic strip. A long description, this can have more details about the story. It allows you to select a genre. You can select a language. You can also allow users to preview one or two pages of your comic book from the website without downloading. Next we will upload a thumbnail image for your comic strip which is displayed when the user is shown your comic for download. This thumbnail image file that you upload needs to be less than 3 megabytes. You can also set a price if you plan to sell your comic as a paid download. Remember this is what the reader will see and then make a decision to download or not download your comic through the app. It's like the front cover of a book or a music CD. Click on create comic and this saves and displays the header information for your comic strip. Notice that the comic strip that you are trying to create appears at the top in the panel below. Next, we will upload the graphic images that make up the pages of your comic strip. Click on Upload Comic Strip. This allows you to select the image files from your computer's hard drive that contain your comic pages and upload them to ComicSphere. Each image file that you upload needs to be less than 3 megabytes. Once they are uploaded, you can see the images that you uploaded. You can delete the images that you don't need. You will be creating a virtual storyboard from these images, so you need to make sure your image files are in the right sequence. You can rearrange the sequence here. You are ready to crop each frame from your image file in the proper sequence that you intend for the viewer to see. Click on Crop Comic Strip. This displays your first image file. You can scroll to the bottom and see that you can skip to the next image file if you want to start with that one. The Ctrl X key allows you to crop portions of this image file or you can scroll down each time and click on the icon that looks like a pair of scissors to do your cropping. Remember to crop portions of your image in the exact sequence that you want to guide your viewers as they read the comic book. This is very important and you must do it sequentially. You could however go back later and redo the sequence but doing it correctly in the beginning saves a lot of time. We will traditionally start at the top left corner and follow the pictures through the page in a traditional top to bottom and left to right manner. So we click and drag the mouse from the top left corner of the first picture and create an active rectangular panel and then do a Ctrl X to crop this portion. You get a message saying that this portion has been cropped. Now we move to the next picture to the right. You can see that you can drag the active rectangular shape and resize as you see fit. After you have selected the entire second picture in the active rectangle, hit Ctrl X and the second picture is cropped. Next we slide to the third picture. Resize the active rectangle to fit the third picture and then hit Ctrl X 
to crop this third picture. This picture is now cropped. Let us now move to the fourth picture in the comic sequence. To do this we follow the normal reading pattern which is top to bottom left to right. So this picture is in the next row to the left. We start again and click and drag the mouse to fit this picture into the active rectangle and then hit Ctrl X to crop. Moving along we go to the fifth picture to the right. We drag the active rectangle from the fourth picture to the fifth picture and resize it and crop it by hitting Ctrl X. You get the idea now. We simply click and drag the mouse to create an active rectangle around each picture and then crop it by hitting Ctrl X. Be careful to adjust the active rectangle to cover the entire picture before cropping it. You can now preview all the pictures in the first page that you cropped and you can see them in the correct sequence that you followed while cropping. Each picture is displayed in its own row. You can now move them up or down if the sequence is not correct or if the cropping is not to your satisfaction then you can delete it and go back to the imperfect picture on the page and crop it again. Remember to put the recropped picture in the correct sequence of the page. You are now done with the first page that you uploaded. This completes the first page of your comic book. You are now ready to move to the second page which is in the next image file that you uploaded. Click on next image and this brings you to the second page. We start over by cropping the pictures in this page in its natural sequence. Once you get to know all the elements of the cropping process and all the features that allows you to navigate between images and pictures within each image, this goes fairly quickly. You can crop the same image twice and then keep the one you want and delete the one that you don't want. You can also go back to the previous image file and finalize it. You can also rearrange the frames. Once you are satisfied with all the pictures in each page and you have the entire storyboard in the correct sequence, you can now save your comic strip by clicking Save Comics. Once you have saved your comic strip, you will be able to see the image files or pages on the left and if you select one of them, you can see all the pictures that you have cropped in that page on the right and you can preview them in the correct sequence. You can preview the header information. You have two options now. You can publish it to all, which means it will be available for download to everyone via the Comicsphere mobile app. Or you can publish it to yourself, which means if you log in to the mobile app using your credentials, you will be able to download it and no one else. If you publish it to all, then you can go to the Comicsphere website homepage or mobile app and see it under Recent Comics. Congratulations, you have now published your comic strip. For any queries, do contact us at support at comicsphere.com. That's support at comicsphere.com.